BrewTube. It's me, DJ, your happy BrewTube reviewer. And this is... Big John. Big John. Why is your name Big John today, Johnny? Because we're having Big John. That's right. Big John Beer from Goose Island. Yet another Bourbon County brand stout base beer variant. You say that ten times fast. That's a mouthful. <laughs> Anyways, this beer here says serve it in a snifter. Well, we ain't got a snifter. a snifter. We got a pint glass. They serve it in pint glasses too, I would imagine, because they serve stouts in pint glasses. So it's going to have to be good enough because you have to make do with what you've got. So, tonight, like we said, we got Big John, Goose Island Brewing Beer Company, whatever they're called, out of Chicago, Illinois, USMA. And this one is 11.5% and 65. Six, no, sorry, 60 IBUs. Imperial Stout rotating serving, wherever they sell it. So, developed in the bottle for up to one year. Mm -hmm. But we're going to drink it before then. Mm -hmm. Yes, we're going to drink it tonight. So, this one's got six malts in it and it's got one hop, Columbus. And chocolate nibs. And cocoa nibs, a oh, shitload cocoa of cocoa nibs. nibs. Now, he's had this beer on, out of the bottle. On tap and out of the and, bottle. And out of the bottle. I have not. It was my Super Bowl Sunday beer. That's a that's a super Super Bowl Sunday beer. It was. I had none. I had to deal with a two year old running around and <sighs> anyways, without further ado, we have said bottle opener. And said beer. And nice said hiss. Snifters. Yes. Pretend these are snifters. You guys can imagine, right? You just sniffed out of your bottle and you got a snifter. Wow. This is a big ass beer. Look at that. Pours like oil. Look, I'm pouring straight <laughs> down the center. <laughs> And there's no head on that at all. Did you get head in your port at home? Don't From the remember. beer. Not, yeah, mm. other head. Nice. Let's see if I can get some. Oh, but somebody out there may say, you're pouring it wrong. Who cares? That's just how it's going to have to go. We're not going to have to, we're not going to pour it right tonight. So, I got a little bit of head. There we go. There you go. Um, one finger, super tight khaki bubbles. Looks just like Night Stalker. There is no light. At all, passing through this beer. None whatsoever. None. You can put a halogen, you put an LED in there, ain't going through. This is as black as you're going to get for a beer. Um, I can't wait to taste this again. Really super tight bubble, solid one finger when I swirl it. Get some good glass lacing. And just like Night Stalker, it's coating the inside of the glass already with yep. its beer residue. We need to have to do a Kentucky dishwasher on this one, too. Do we have the bourbon in the back? I think we do. Excellent. So... Let's get a nose on this one. Well, rich, dark fruit, you don't care about a nose. Anyway, <laughs> chocolate, caramel, dark black coffee, dark fruits, a big, big chocolate, like dark and milk both. Man, get a taste of this one. You go, tell them what it tastes like. A damn good beer. Definitely nice. The chocolate just comes wow. out beautiful to you know, velvety taste in your mouth. It's like when you suck down, open like three or four Hershey's Kisses, you shove them, those things in your mouth, and you just let them melt. Kind of that taste, that mm. coatiness. A uh, little bit of like viscosity, coffee, oil, something going on in there as well. Yeah. Lovely, uh, wow. just flavor to it all the way through. Smooth, no alcohol taste. Nothing. Like a ninety percent cow cow tasting like um cacao tasting like Is that a aftertaste. Ninety just yeah, the, like the real super dark chocolate aftertaste. As hoppy as Night Stalker is, this is rich chocolatey. It's the exact yeah. other end of the spectrum and I can really see what they were thinking about when they made these two beers. Night Stalker, like we said, is like your your uh, black IPA on steroids. <clears throat> well, this is like your your coffee stout or chocolate stout on steroids. They must have used a, a ton of freaking uh, cacao nibs in this when they made it. I mean, because you can really taste it. There's no alcohol in the taste, but it's warming going down. 11.5%, that's what you expect. Yep. Just also, like with Night Stalker, it looks like... Especially as it warms more here, it looks like there's caramel lining the glass. I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but it is totally coated like you sprayed liquid caramel on the inside of this glass. Now, how does this compare to what you had on tap, Johnny? Um, on tap, to me, I, I felt more velvety coating in my mouth. 
and the chocolate seemed to come out a little stronger than in the bottle. That was my opinion. Uh, take it for what it's worth. I enjoyed it both ways. I really enjoyed this beer. Uh, did Night Stalker, did BCBS, you know, they're all they're all A beers for me. I mean, this one definitely uh, a. I'm gonna give since we've been so bad at giving grades to beers today. <laughs> uh, I'm. It's really tough. I think it's somewhere A. I, I give it an A. De definitely strong A. Um, I, I, I really like this. Like, this is my third. Basically, two in the bottle, one on. Not the today. Yeah. <laughs> Wish it was third today. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, I know I, I could probably go back to Total Wine tomorrow, where I get mine. And for some reason, they're still sitting on the shelves. Uh, it's a sleeper, this beer. This and is. Night Stalker, pe people don't understand what this is. They're looking for Bourbon County brand stout, the coffee version, the cherry rye, whatever you we got, the bramble rye. One. We haven't done the coffee one. Oh, we yeah? haven't? Oh, yeah. Okay, that'll be next. Next stout yeah. tour. But, I mean, everyone's looking for those beers, but they're not looking for this. And I don't know why. Right. I mean... I mean, as stouts go, I mean, there's a lot of other stouts that are just plebeian compared to this beer. I mean, it's so much better. I mean, this is a prototypical stout. Why? And, and this is this is why this base beer is why Bourbon County brand stout, besides the barrel, is so good. Because if you don't have an awesome stout to handle that long aging process in the barrel, it's gonna it's not gonna you know it's gonna fall short. It's gonna go thin, or it's gonna taste too much like the barrel, yeah. or its barrel flavor will die. I mean, so many you know variables, but. I mean, this is like syrup, the, the stout. If you don't like a, a heavy, strong flavor stout and you don't like dark chocolate, this may not be for you. And, and I tell you, that they do such a good job. I mean, they, they've they been posting tw pictures on Twitter. Uh, Goose Island has on uh, their warehouse and the number of barrels just mm -hmm. sitting outside waiting to get in and then what's inside. I mean, that's, that's one place I just want to go. Imagine it was like when I was in Tequila and I was sitting on the town of Tequila, sitting on Jack Daniels barrels, and just piled way high. That's what it looks like in Goose Island. Maybe that's pictures. an advantage of the AB InBev buyout of the Goose Island. They have a lot more ready cash on hand to make these big beers, and they've offloaded the three was it three twelve three twelve and the regular Sophia Kale and Ale and all that stuff. Honkers Island. Yeah, they've they've, they've yeah. offloaded all that stuff out to the AB InBev plants. And in Chicago, they're making the big beers, which is really what their, a craft brewer always wants to make all the time. But they make the other beers to get other people in there to buy the stuff so they can afford to make these beers. Because it ain't cheap to make a beer like this. No. you got to have big capital by the grain, the hops, I mean, the, the ton of cacao nibs that you need for this. But anyways, I'm going to go along with Johnny. I'm going to give this an A, too. We gave, both gave Night Stalker an A, I believe, yeah. as well. But... Both of them are top-notch beers. If you can find them in your area, try them. They're real sleepers. Shout out to Clemens Homebrew. You guys, are, you know, we got one of these coming to you. Can't wait till you guys re, you know, till you guys review it. It's a, it's a super nice beer. Drinks really smooth. It's a sipper. I don't know if you're going to chug this because you'll be destroyed after a 22 ounce or that probably. But, anyways, oh, the other guys. Beer Advocate's giving a 90, and Rate Beer's giving it a 98. A 98. What the hell? I give it a hundred. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I, I think we're our, our our mindset. We're thinking high A, falling in between that ninety eight and ninety for us. But definitely don't want to give any knocks on this beer. Super high high quality. Definitely. So I'm ready for some more pour. That's right. So we're gonna go away and think globally and drink locally. You know all that kind of stuff. We're yeah. gonna support the craft beer movement. You, you know all that stuff. Exactly. And you know if there's something you want us to review. You know, we keep saying that, but nobody said anything. Except oh. for, wait, OD, you know. No, no, liquor. no. Uh, Brew's under review. They want, he wants us to do a McKellar beer. Maybe we'll do that Black Hole or the oh, yeah. Beer yep. Geek or Roush yep. Geek, whatever we got, right? Yep. So, till the next time. Oh, yeah. Shout out Brew's under review, Brad. Anyways, till the next DJ's Brew Tube. I guess we got nothing else to say, but. Drink up. Peace oh. out. <laughs>